stop some instantaneous reaction. We're gonna get into game number one here in grand finals. We got Tony versus Mouse Rat. Tony switching so over to the Grants. Uh, yes. Yeah, because Visceral oh. uh, DQ. Oh, all right. And I guess we we'll talked about before. Goes. This is one of the few characters who can put themselves in the category of making Pikachu struggle. Good job, Ness. I guess. Very, very short uh, list. I can't even actually name that whole list. That's how ridiculous this character is. Well, let's think about it for a second. Pikachu can do a decent job avoiding Yo-Yo Edge Guards, of course, mm -hmm. because his recovery is just so flexible. It's not perfectly avoidable, but he can do it. Um, yeah, I can understand it, honestly. I think the big thing is just like, where like, Pikachu wants to meet you with these aerials, just like, he just loses out to the disjoints of Ness consistently. We just saw it like the like played in full in that entire first stock. Yeah, Ness has big aerials going on, and also uh, Pikachu has to approach in a very specific way. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ! Pikachu has to approach in a very specific way if he wants to use Thunder Jolts, because otherwise mm -hmm. Ness is just gonna eat them. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, you get that free damage. You can't pressure with Thunder Jolts the same way you would normally. Tony I know you has. You have to do it in a specific way, and it becomes very predictable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. and Tony is definitely riding off of the momentum from that last set because he's tearing this hey. apart. That's goodbye. Oh, never mind. Balls. I thought even at that percent, that's the one we're gonna go. They seem not giving like, Pikachu a hard time. They, like this is the like one of the first times we've seen Mouser have to put like hitboxes out in anticipation, like please come to me here instead of me like trying to chase it down. Uh, they're finally getting some like some landing coverage here, but. Okay. Fight. Tony looking extremely good here in game one. Mouse Rat, yeah, like it's it's rough. Dash attack not gonna go just yet. Honestly, I don't even I, I don't even disagree with that weight there. It's like eh, you're you're hunting for the kill, so they're probably gonna be holding shield, assuming that down smash is coming. So you try to read the spot dodge. My God, Tony though. Yeah, you can afford to just dig off stage at this Ooh. point, trying to look for the down air, but gonna get met by the skull uh, skull bash. You know, I approve of this music for this grand finals. Yeah, this is great. It has oh, a very that... elect. It has a very electric feel to it, and. Uh... That's what both of these characters are doing. <laughs> also, I definitely approve, uh, like heavily approve of that edge guard attack Mouse Rat had before. Like, almost stole a stock at like 20%. Oh yeah. It seems like Mouse Rat definitely, definitely getting something changed here. But okay. unfortunately, Ness has the ability to confirm into back throw, so that's gonna be the first game going to Tony. Tony playing that very well. I'm, ve I'm very intrigued and interested to see how. Mouse Rat adjusts because either it be a stage pick or a character change, but uh, majority of that was just all to like Tony's game. He has to do it or death. Await some. It'd be over. I mean, you got a whole, you got a whole uh, bracket to reset. You got, you got plenty of time. Oh my god, I can't wait for it to be nine o'clock in the morning already, so I could be just so upset by whoever gets announced. Ten o'clock. Oh, yeah. Ten o'clock. Oh. 10? So I won? Yeah, it's a 10. <gasps> nice. I set my alarm for 9.50. I, I don't sleep I anymore. <laughs> I wake up at noon. <laughs> I stay up all so. night and then go to bed at like 7. It's been awful lately. Oh, Hoping God, a really? A people sleep schedules. Yeah. No, I dude, I didn't want it to be like that, but after I started working on YouTube stuff, my like my sleep has just been trash. Oh. I, I, I pretty much regularly go to bed at like 3 to 4 a.m. And like that sounds bad until Same. you realize waking up at noon is actually not that bad. I mean, I'm still IMO, trying IMO, to IMO. roll back. <laughs> I'm still trying to dial back my own times of going to sleep. Yeah, I'm trying to fix it. I, I think I'm gonna make it a hard attempt at that starting tomorrow because I like it's. I know it's, we all say that to ourselves, and yeah, then yeah. I've tried, but it just doesn't work. All right, game number two here. Uh, also, game I agree. Two. This music is like slapping hard. Like it has been fitting so well. We're gonna see the switch to FD, so the removal of platforms. Uh, only a linear way to deal with things. Yeah, it's a good song, but. It just fits. I love how it feels for this matchup. It's great. 
Okay, don't, go. don't blow my ears out, please. <laughs> Devin, I want you to share that. For a I want you to share the playlist with me afterwards. I want more stuff for streams. Right, what's the attempt here? Right, solid ledge trap so far from uh, Mouse Rat. Good call from Tony, recognizing the quick deck coming in. What's the call here? Try to just put the PK fire at the ledge. I mean, even with the switch to the no platforms, there is something that works for Tony too. And Tony gets to like predict quick attacks a lot more. There's no platform to cancel off to. Uh, attempt, oh, it reads the stall. Fortunately, not gonna get the kill and good job going for the fair to shut that down. He didn't have a choice. Yeah, he, uh, Mouse Rat was going to get that kill. Woo! Good tech. Yo, we tech those? Okay. This game is so much closer right now. This stage huh. is significantly better. I am very surprised that that uh, clanked the way that did. Nice answer out of shield with that Nair. Just fading away. Just kind of keep it safe. Dude, I love that Ness has all these like super fast and energetic moves, and then his forward tilt is just like this stiff, <laughs> this stiff kick. He's yeah. like, eh. <laughs> it's like trying there's to no, like kick a rat away no, or something like that. Little yeah. freaking mouse. <laughs> like, there's no like the powers or anything about it. He's just like, eh. <laughs> kick this man. What was something I saw the first time the other day? Uh, oh, uh, I saw Jigglypuff's F tilt for the first time in like my existence of playing Smash. It, it looks so weird. Doesn't it? Yeah, it's just a little spin. It reminds me, like, very similar to the Ness F tilt. What's the after? Yeah, yeah Puffs, looking for the quick stack in again. That arrow does not kill. Yeah, that definitely would have killed full stage. Did you see that? The Thunder Jolt like killed itself on the stage. Yeah, that was weird. Like, it, it, you definitely need that to be clanking with those uh, PK Thunders, uh, and it has not worked out. Good job holding shield, because Devil is looking for the run away from, uh, from Tony there. Got to be careful. Like, this is the one spot where I can uh, understand uh, Pikachu players. Like, I don't, I don't usually agree with them a lot, but when you're in a situation where you're forced between the up throw and the dash attack, your approaches become so linear. It's become so much harder to get that kill. Yeah, I was about to say that. I think Tony Pajamas has cracked the code for not getting killed by Pikachu. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is going to be really rough if that's the case. Ooh, wow. Yeah, Tony Pajamas great. did a good job DIing in. Go ahead. That was it. I'm not sure how fast the up smash for Pikachu is, but possibly like parry up smash right there could have maybe sealed the deal. Good job again, Tony. Is that it? Consistently forward. Good DI. Yeah, like, that, that was the most optimal DI to that corner <laughs> because I think that was definitely going to kill. Yeah, it's like he's got back air, but it's not doing anything. Yep. Haven't had a successful, uh, like, edge guard because he can't afford to use that up air. It's going to finally do it. My man killed him with up air. I have yet to see a Pikachu up air kill like that. And the landing trade for Tony, too. So you worked that hard to get that kill, and now you're down a whole stock. Like, this, like the very beginning of the game was working really well. Mouse Rat has to just obliterate this stock. I know that's easier said than done but really just needs to put a lot on. I like that. I like that, like, bait the idea of going for the thunder and ended up leading to a lot more because of it. Oh, we hit one of them. Oh, this stock has been absolutely perfect. Good reversal attempt. Whoa! Oh, oh I like that. Go for the skull bash because you tried to just either hit Ness out of that or you hit the PK thunder, just end it. That was 100% every way Mouse Rat needed to play that stock to get this game. <laughs> I hate that move so much. I, I, it, it is top five most stress-inducing things to, to deal with. <laughs> Being next to a floating PK Thunder. What's the option here? You got to be careful at the ledge. Good get-up attack to stop that. Nice safe aerial pressure from Tony here, not committing too hard to pretty much anything. Just kind of waiting for Mouse Rat to like overcommit at any point. Now you're in drag down back throw percent too, so you have to be that much more careful. 
Oh, there it is! I hate that so much. <laughs> it's like, damn. You see it enough times, you know it's coming eventually. It's, but that was very good timing by Tony. Just kind of baiting out, fading away enough. But yeah, like... It's like, you, damn, Ness can really combo a movement option into a grab. That's crazy. And even after missing that right there, too, it's like, oh, I, I have to, like, I'm, I'm going to anticipate holding shield because I'm probably going to get hit by an air or something and then you just get grabbed. That was crazy. Very well played by Tony to, to like, stop the bleeding because Mouse Rat looked, like, significantly better there on game two. Dude, can everyone in the game just have, like, access to cool movement options like Magnet? Yes, please. Yeah, let I, I, all right, look, I, I have always let people like tell me at least one broken thing that they'd like to have on their character. One thing I'd really like to have is the PM uh, quick draw cancel for Ike. That'd be insane. No, absolutely not. No, just, just, <laughs> give, just give Ike magnet. He wants Ike to be able to jump out of quick draw. Yes. Let me combo out of quick draw. Come on. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yes, absolutely yes. not. <laughs> what do you mean? And he wants Ike to be able to quick wall jump out of quick draw as well. Yes, I want to be able to quick draw and deal with people who constantly just like dash attack and stay in my face when I can't beat them out of shield or anything like that. Just Absolutely give me that. not. Are you sure? All right, we're going to switch over to FD. Wait, are you positive? You, you sure? Nothing anyway, I can do to tell you on this? If there's any one broken thing that any character should want, it should be deep breathing. I can agree with that. That yeah. deep breathing is the gives, one of gives the best Squirtle deep game. breathing. I, I agree. No, oh, no. God. Yes, no. I, I like that. Just no. 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 <laughs> I'm not trying to see faster Squirtle. I, I, I am. Faster I'm not and stronger. To see I'm trying to. Uh, I'm a, like, whenever that meme shows up where everybody's like celebrating because Squirtle got switched off, that's me. I, I'm, I'm people's. Squirtle so. is. Squirtle's that, 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 that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch. All right. Excellent first stock so far by uh, Tony here. Already within kill throw percent. Only taking 2% so far. As I say that, Mouse Rat finding a, well, a short opening. You know, honestly, I'd be doing that too. Like, oh, a lot of him. people do that. Oh, caught the jump. Forced. Oh, but gets the gets the wall track. Has not happened very frequently. Yeah, majority of the times, Tony's been able to walk away with that. Tony can't, uh, cannot close this stock out right now. It's giving Mouse Rat a uh, little bit of an in. There it is. Oh no, not that just looked, yet. Wow. That looks very weird. Yeah, it was like the like the sourest spot of that in there. Oh, well. That F tilt got purpose. <laughs> Dragged out <laughs> forward air into F tilt. Gonna close that out. A stiff kick. I was gonna say earlier too, like at least it doesn't kill like Lucas, but I'm glad I didn't speak. See, Lucas knows what's up. He uses magic when he's doing forward tilt. Yeah, actually, like, put something behind that. That F-tilt is annoying. Although, Although neither of them... Look... Neither of them really do anything when it's down tilt time, though. They're just, like, kick. Yeah, true, just, like, a little stutter. Great that Ness like... gets, like, some really good pressure depending on the body, like, like depending on who he's fighting with that down tilt. I like how Lucas is look, though, because he's just spinning around when he does it. Mm -hmm. Like, whoop, whoop, whoop. That should be death. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't sure if Tony still had his good. jump or not because it looked like he's trying to wait for it. But yeah, that was a smart call. Just go out there recognizing no double jump was there. What? 30, what 30 was on the board real fast. Yeah, what was that whole sequence? <laughs> it's like, like the sour hit up, up smash combo, like like combo damage. Not start looking really good here after that first stock. He was able to stop PK Fires from coming out by rushing in that hard. Yeah, Mouse Rat's been doing a lot better on the air-to-air -air trades, too. Like, before, Tony was just kind of winning them all. No! Oh, my God! <laughs> that was, like... That one burns because Mouse Rat had... It looked like either the Skull Bash or something there waiting for the PK Fire. Or, excuse me, the PK Thunder. And you just get blown up for it. It's a big part of why yeah. you don't go off stage that often for those. Oh, boy. Here we go. My God. Straight to 78%. Good fade away by Tony not to get hit by that. Wow. DNS. Yeah, that was yeah, that was definitely uh some homie DI for sure. That I'm very homie surprised DI. that that killed. 
Yeah, that, that was. Uh, let me help you out real quick. I can Mouse Rat run this back. I mean, Mouse Rat, when 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 able to get a hold of Tony throughout this set, has been doing significantly better time and time again. Like the advantage state control has been getting better. No, he knew it was gonna air dodge back. Mm hmm. Dash attack again. Tony's starting to get mixed up a little bit here. There they go for uh, like one of the first area trades in a while. Oh no! Wow. Okay, it's Pikachu. Oh. But the roll coverage with the up smash. Oh my god! Did you it. see Pikachu's face on that zoom in? Yeah, it looks so pissed. That yo-yo went. <laughs> that yo-yo went right onto his uh his dangling parts. <laughs> like, are you for real, bro? Ah. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Look at where that yo-yo hits Pikachu. Puts it right between his legs. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! That's you absolute monster. You don't you don't do that. You don't do you don't do that. What's wrong with you? Right in the Pika Jewels. <laughs> in the Thunderstones? Yes. <laughs> Devin, you guys are letting me stay around uh John for too long. It's either for better or worse. I'm not really sure. <laughs> All right, so that's it there. That's that's the reverse ledge trap that definitely was super unfortunate for Mouse Rat. Had the right call, uh, but Tony's able to walk away with it. But we're gonna see a reset. Tony I know it's quite it. a pay when that happens. Yeah, it's like when you have something work for you, you finally like, okay, I, I see the situation. It's gonna work out for me. I'm gonna go commit and. T <laughs> I do want to mention something about that last interaction. Uh. Okay, never mind. Oh, I thought you said that you wanted to mention something about it. Yeah, but it's not on the screen anymore, so rest in peace. Oh, what do you want to see? Rip and pasta. The final stock. Uh, sure. So when this happened, Mouse Heart was trying to do his double jump thunder, right? And the stage actually nudged him out of the way a little bit, and the thunder missed him completely. And... What it looked like, Tony made it look like he was going to punish that by just holding out his yo-yo because he realized, mm -hmm. oh, I have enough time to do that. And that was what that whipped up air was, right? Mm -hmm. Assuming he has tap jump on. Otherwise, he just did it for no reason. So what happened was Mouse Rat expecting this immediately buffered ledge roll in anticipation of possibly needing the tech. And Tony Pajamas recognized that he might be thinking that, I mm -hmm. think. So it yeah. was an interesting sequence. Yeah, it's one of those things like you put something out to like bait the idea of like, oh, they whiffed. I, I, I have a free setup here. And then especially after going to the ledge right after that, to, oh, he's looking for back throw. Well, I think the after was an accident. Well, even so, like it put him in a position to be at back throw range near the ledge. It's like, oh, I have to, bu I have to buff a roll because they're going to grab me if I get up here. It's, it's oh, yeah. one of those super stressful situations. Oh, this song brings back memories. Oh, yes. Please play more Coliseum music. Are you kidding me? Go through the whole list. Where's my boy Mirror B? Memories of PM for me. Oh, true. Yeah, you got to listen to this during that. If chat, if you haven't played the Coliseum games or XD, uh, please do so. Uh, it, it, do yourself the, the wonderful favor of that. Well, I have a good memory for this because this is the song that played during quite possibly my greatest match in uh, PM history. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I'm curious. I want to watch it. Tell me about it afterwards. Sure. I like watching good matches. Uh, speaking of, much more uh, dead even present right now. Get speaking fire though. Very, very big damage. Had to air dodge there, but. Yeah, get caught like by the delicious. sweet hit of that. That is a dead Pikachu. Finally, some good food. A <laughs> yeah, good retreat on Tony right there after the, like the double aerials. A lot of people just love to go right back in after whipping aerials like that. It's like, oh yeah, just put yourself in a bad spot, get where you can get punished. Good coverage by Mouse Rat. Once again, good coverage here too. See what happens here. Didn't do the thunder. He was trying to bait off Magnet, but it didn't come. I was looking for some very aggressive options off ledge for sure. Or I mean, excuse me, off the platforms. Just he saw those whiffed aerials. He saw the whiffed aerials coming, tried mm -hmm. for dash attack, but he was too early. Yeah, 
both of them looking for. Oh, the dash attack, actually, the very last hit it at that shot, gonna take it out. I also do believe that he low profiled the Thunder Jolt with dash attack just now. Yeah, definitely. I like. I thought that it just clanked with the the Thunder Jolt at first. It's a dash attack. No good though. Oh, nice wait for the jump out after that. There you go, though. Gonna get yourself on the board. Only 37%, not too bad. Read some errant uh, offense right there. Okay, nice. <laughs> you have this bag. Once again, recognize that he's gonna go out, which is stressful at that point, too, because if you don't try to jump out after that, you're just gonna take a grab, so. Still decided Indeed. to jump out, but that time going far enough away to the left. PK fire. He jumped again. Yeah, Mouser, I think, like, it's almost like the, the intentional no mix up. It's like, oh, he's not gonna do it again, right? It, nope, nope, did it a fourth time. Because now you have to think about that. My pajamas had a directional air dodge off the stage. He, he might have died off that, but thankfully he grabbed ledge. Yeah, I saw that too. It's a, uh, if he faded down that low, even if he was able to get the double clank PK thunders, uh, Malshot would have been in a perfect position. Oh. Backthrow gonna do it. I don't think there was any way he could survive that, even though there no. was no spark. Yeah, well, that was at what, 144 after it? Well, he went so quickly. I'm just like, I don't think there was any way he was living that. True, yeah, that, like how fast he went off screen. Tony looking good though. Tony started to like fade back a bit more instead of going for more of these air to airs. Granted, off stage now. A good delay too, intentionally taking that thunder jolt before he decided to go for it. That's his double jump. Let's see, Tony's jumping around. He's looking for his opportunity off those platforms with PK fire. Yeah, you saw it right there too, just going for it, looking for either a jump or to fall off and go for it. Oh yeah. Master I think is aware of those PK fires at this mm -hmm. point. Yeah, I think that's why Mouse has been putting a lot more of those smash attacks or just like the hitboxes in general right in the center. It's like, I know you're planning to land here. Speaking of which, Ooh. forcing a little bit too far off to the left to get the kill. Nice power shield, Jesus. Yeah, I, I like this idea. Yeah, because eventually you're forced in a spot where, yep, there Hilarious. it is. Yeah, you can get you can get the wall splats for the double as much as you want, but eventually one of these thunder jolts is gonna get you gonna get the hit. That's the first time all of this, like between this set and last set, uh, that we've seen that successful. Master has to be careful here because of exactly that. Jump. Actually. <coughs> Red to roll away, but oh gets the forward smash. You are not living that whatsoever. I need to Cracks see this close up face in with a bat. Jesus Christ. Look at that. Like, Even on the victory screen, there's that bat. Oh, yeah. reliable. <laughs> then Pikachu just like took that all to the chin and then just applauds and, after. It's like, and you got it. in this moment, in this moment, Ness's bat became a cracked bat. That was actually ridiculous. Like, that was like full range too. Yeah, Jesus. A good a show good first for game. the first game. A yeah, good first game. Like, these matches have been getting progressively closer and closer each time. Like, even it may be four up for Tony right now, but I don't, like, it doesn't take, paint the proper picture to how well Mouse Rat's been playing. This hasn't been able to seal the deal. Indeed. It's still going to be a rough run going down the line, though. Mm -hmm. This is still Ness Pikachu. Yeah, true. Like, again, just. It's just showing in spades here why Ness is one of the few characters that gets to put in their, their matchup chart. Uh, does well against Pikachu, one of the rats does in general. Well. Yeah, I won't say win, I said does well. <laughs> it's still Pikachu. So let's see how it goes. I like the defensive gameplay to start things off for Mousetrap. There it is, finds the opening he's looking for. Unfortunately, he hasn't been able to get one of these early ledge guards. Like, that is something that Mouse Rat has, has seen thrive off of in other matchups, but Tony's just been so evasive off stage. Well, I think there's defensive play because both of them have now. Both of them may have truly realized just how important taking first stock is in this matchup. Yeah. No matter who takes first stock, they could probably cruise their way to a win by playing defensively against the other opponent. Mm -hmm. Ness is the character of kill moves, but Pikachu has enough agility to just, like, not get hit by Ness. Yeah, and Ness is Ness. He's sort of campy, sort of mobile. He can definitely like hold out of stock if he takes the first one. 
Yeah, and a, like a really good thing that could work for Mel's, right? Like, in terms of that stock lead, is when you take Ness away from fading away with all these aerials versus have to actually come in, uh, it's yes. such a such a huge difference. And a lot of this concept was demonstrated in the previous game when Tony first stuck, but Masrat started bringing it back. Mm -hmm. And good I call. think that's why they were playing defensively at the start. Yeah, I don't think either of them wants to lose advantage on percent on numbers so easily. Yeah, like it's like even though they've been answering back and forth pretty quick, like it's still that much stress. Oh, back throw might do it. There, there it is. is. Let's see what that, happens. That just barely missed you because like Malstrat had it on the neutral getup. He had the right call, but just missed the two frame. So here's the big problem here. I'm not sure. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Not getting hit by anything and just put that out there because you assume that Tony's going to be aggressive in that situation. No, I assumed Tony was going to continue just jumping a lot because he was doing that immediately after Master of respawned, but then he yeah. just fell into that. Yeah, so that's huge for Master because that could have, like, like you said before, like with the stock leads between these two in particular have mattered so much. So the fact that Master was able to shut that down without taking too much is huge right now. What's also important is this is the first game that has a semblance of looking even in this entire set. Yeah, like it, this has been as close as possible. Like even with this uh, percent deficit in favor of Tony, you see Mousetrap, yeah, there you go, getting the air to air read. Another one, he still has double jump, forward air, dash attack. Ooh, what's gonna happen here? Good call, and just throw the jabs out, just kind of force Tony at the reset. Like, Ness is one of the few characters who really doesn't want to just hold off and, like, fall off stage, because then you're forced to have to deal with those Thunder Jolts again. Oh, yeah. But if he's recovering horizontally enough, it shouldn't matter. Even if he takes a hit too close to the ledge, he could just air dodge back to the ledge. True. I think part of it might have been the fact that um, Mouse Rat's been catching a lot of the jumps lately on these air airs. It's like, oh, I don't want to risk that. Hey, as. Oh, yeah, it's scary just knowing that something bad might happen, even if it is usually safe. Yeah. Good answer though, gonna get the pick your fire. Uh, Ooh, went for a yo-yo. Oh, yeah, just roll up, cover it again. Very similar to what ended that last game. Let's see if Tony commits to just hanging around on these platforms for most of the stock. And Tony was willing to actually just like, at the start, they'd kind of go up front, maybe throw off Mouser at the timing, but now you see a, a bit more, it's kind of hanging back, put these PK fires out and just kind of cover the movement options of Mouser at. Mouser at can, all Mouser can do is just do his best to find as many hits as he can. Even if he gets a juggle, he can't just thunder because of Magnet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can't go for thunder. I, like, can't afford to trade too much because uh, might get caught by one of those short hop fares. Yeah. And Pikachu is in possession of five aerials that do not kill. There we go. Dash stack not killing either. Just like finally find an opportunity. Yeah. It was big, but it wasn't enough. That could have been a turning point for this game specifically. Yeah, only 66%. We've already seen Mouser have like put 66 up without even trying. Tony tried to cover the fall off of the platform. I'm well, not that I'm talking about when the dash attack didn't kill just now. Oh no, I mean yeah, I'd say like that's super unfortunate because afterwards, like if you yeah. if you get that kill at that spot, uh like he's been able to get up that 60% very quick. So gonna even the game right out. Okay. That sucks! That was great for Tony, but that just barely missed for Mouse Rat. Like, it was like literally like frames off from hitting. So great job for, uh, well, lucky for Tony in that spot, able to get the PK Thunder too. He went really low though. I'm really surprised. That was a good like positioning for him for, to be sure. Mm -hmm. Like, look at this. Now look how close Jesus that was. Jesus Christ. Like at that point, Tony had committed to the, I think, double bounce. Yeah, is it like he had already gone for the Thunder Jolt off stage? Like, oh, he's he's hanging out with me down here, so I I can't jump because he's probably looking for a fair, and then the Thunder goes off. Oh yeah, and then all the other match sucks. That was unfortunate. But yeah, hitting with a kill move and then it doesn't kill is just like a big turning point. Yeah, you feel a lot of despair for just like that thing not killing, even though it seemed like it was a surefire thing. And it's just yeah. like, why did they live? Now I have to find another kill move, and I just showed my hand on some of my kill move tendencies. Ugh. Exactly, because like you, you, you hold on to that mix up for so long, you haven't gone for it all set. And it, it's just another one of those things we were saying before that even though it's five games to none, uh, Tony's favor, it doesn't paint the right picture to how like close these matches have been. Well, 
Either way, it's though, gonna, it's going to be up to Mouse to prove that. You got three games to change that fortune, or do you walk away with it? Either way, Tony's got to be feeling good about that because now you can afford to kind of, like, you could you could afford to play a little bit more defensive just having the two games up. Because it, it or he could also try to play more recklessly because True. he has those two games. True, you could afford one that or the game. other. It's like I'm gonna try some crazy something crazy with Ness. If it works, you're gonna explode. If it doesn't, <laughs> I still have the lead in games. True. Yeah, that is that is the opportunity for you to be able to play a little bit more reckless. That jump is gone, but it, <laughs> Ness has a third jump in that air dodge. See what happens. So far, um, pretty reckless, I will say. Yeah, definitely, definitely not wanted whatsoever. But for Mouser, that's huge because it's like the first stock lead I think we've seen Mouser have. And you already see Mouser willing to just like hang back and camp. Felt like a turning point. Random SDs like that don't always mean a Jesus. Random SDs like that don't always mean a momentum shift, but mm -hmm. this was after Tony has been stonewalling him for five whole games, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that, that's the best feel-good moment you could have right there. It's like, oh, okay, they gave me something. Now I get to hold the lead. Uh, let like, me Tony, Tony still is, like, the favorite to win this, but mm -hmm. that SD, this could have been the absolute worst time for that to happen. Honestly. Yeah. So you see how much different Mouse has but just waited for that roll in. Not gonna do it just yet though. I like the aggressive gameplay from Tony there too. He hasn't really gone off stage to cover high recoveries like that like often. What is Tony going to do here? He had the call, just missed it. Yeah, Maserat's doing everything he can to just avoid, to just get as much percentage as he can on before he gets hit. Yeah, holding shield oh. in all the right places but finally Tony gets Pajama caught. Figured out where he was going to quick attack to. Very nice. Yeah, it was hard reading where the quick attack positions were. Like, and the fact that only taking 23% after that whole like minute plus, uh, yeah, that's, a, that's a testament to good defense because a lot of people would push a little bit too hard right there and somehow was able to close it. This is so impressive. Like, I, I am thoroughly enjoying watching these two play. Whether they go for explosive plays or for this defense, like, they have been, like, toe-to-toe -to -toe throughout the whole set. Oh, this is big damage. Oh, yeah. Um... Oh, whatever. <laughs> Dude, I wish my baseball bat could reflect bolts of electricity. Yeah, facts. Can I just get a baseball bat that literally shoots back a giant plasma cannon? Jesus. Lucas does it even better. He reflects electricity with a stick. Yeah, why is his stick better than, like, most swords? I mean, he is swinging it like a baseball bat. <laughs> wow. Look how he threaded the needle there. Oh, there it is. The I haven't seen that happen too much. Him. Only 49% too. What will happen here? You can see the way Tony Pajamas is moving. He's trying to follow every single movement mix up Mouse mm -hmm. Rat's making when trying to recover. He doesn't want this to go too out of hand because of that SD. Yeah, especially with like, it, it, it's very much, uh, Mouse Rat's very much showing his hand that he's willing to play the clock right now. I mean, he's shown that from past experience. True. Actually, yeah, that, this is not uncommon to Mouse Rider at all. But also, I mean, like, can you blame him? No, I'm just saying. He should do it if it provides victory. I'm just saying. Yeah. Just like, like you, Damn, son. you push a little bit too hard right here, and you are asking for trouble. Tony has been doing a great job just being patient the entire time. He just went through the arch. God, gosh darn it. <laughs> That sucks right there, too. When you're trying to work any bit of damage whatsoever, and then you misplace that, that Thunder Jolt just once, and Tony right. gets most of the damage back. There you go. It's the call. Good oh. job. Recognizing he's not going for the roll in that situation there. Now, this is potentially last stock. This could be the end of it if Tony can close it out right here. Championship stock. 
be Xeno Wi-Fi number 29, or is Mouserat going to somehow keep this thing still going? That is not the proper oh, way to do it. That is big damage. Right now. Yeah, to oh! Very nice. Yeah, luckily for Mouserat, not getting hit by any bit of the tail right there, but still gets hit at the end of the place. Yeah, I'll I'd say okay, too. Yeah, Tony was looking for the taunt into the read quick attack for sure. And Tony had the PK fire in that quick attack position as well. Well, I meant more like okay as in, wow, that really still hit ya. <laughs> so what's gonna happen here? Yeah, you gotta be careful. You gotta watch out for drag downs into potential grabs. Looking for it right there. Yeah, you can't just let Magnet put nest put the Magnet on you. Mm-hmm. How did they get that thing a hitbox? You see Tony now looking like he's putting oh. it out there. Sweet Spot of back air is 100% going to do it. And that's going to be a Tony hours. taking it 6-0 over Mouse Rat in Grand Finals. Not having to fight Visceral along the way, but either way, we Ness take those. Like, Ness is like, ah, oh, shucks. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, did I do that? Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah, it's just my first time. It's great. Jesus, he was just throwing them out, but it worked. Good yeah, show. excellent set. Absolutely excellent set between these two. Uh, Good show to Tony Pajamas for winning the tournament and to Mouserat for making some pretty handsome adjustments the entire two sets. Yeah, like, if if anything, like, obviously, like, the, the loss still stings, but the data obtained in this is definitely huge. It's like, if Mouserat goes back this and watches, like, there was so many useful. successful spots. That was such a good oh, read. Uh, I don't have your Discord, so I'm just going to post the uh, set that I was talking about in the stream chat, so... Oh, Here yeah, it's... It's uh, the same as that, like all all things are the same. Ajax uh, underscore AJ. There you go. What? Oh, I just posted it in the Twitch chat. Yep. I see it. Yes, my greatest <laughs> set. But yes, good show to Tony Pajamas for coming back in losers and taking it all. Yeehaw. Yeah, well played. I had fun. I hope everybody else had fun. And if you are still in the chat, hit the follow button. Of course, sub to HL3K if you have not already. Show some support to Dev and company. Uh, they put this on every single week and we still stick around. It's, it's what we got to do while we're stuck at home, but it's still a great time. Uh, I've Indeed. had a lot of fun with it. It was nice to not see uh, the you know the heavies take over. I got to join to see the boy Tony win. It was a nice the heavy week. takeover. Yeah, the heavy straight up have taken over Zeno. It's been hilarious. The heavy